Hello guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain about one more advanced component in Talent Studio that is nothing but T file input positional component in Talent. So why I am going to explain about why we are using this component instead of we have a lot of components to use uh, like to retrieve data from the files we have like uh, D file input delimited as uh, or T file input XML or T file input JSON. But apart from all this, why we are using like why we are going to T file input positional or T file input MS positional. I already explained about uh, T file input position MS position in my previous lectures or in the, I like I will post that in coming lectures. But <clears throat> the first part is why we are using this T file input positional. So normally all the whether it is the T file input XML or T file input JSON or T file input delimited, we need to be have we need to have such some type of identification to split the records. So suppose if in case of delimited, we need to have uh, some sort of delimited uh, delimiter in order to split uh, the records like in order to split the columns in sing in a single record. Suppose if it is XML, you need to identify the separate tag in order to identify the records like column value. Similarly, if it is in JSON, you need to identify the loop. What is the exact JSON query? So, but in the case of suppose if the input file is doesn't having any such type of case, like it is just a simply a normal file. It is looking like this. So, if you consider this file, positional underscore file dot txt, this is containing the records from the uh, like records in the file in such in this format. So, what this format is exactly means, we don't know. Only the business prospect, uh, business people will know what is the exact format of the file will look like. We don't know anything about that. I just took the example of that, but in the business perspective, the business uh, analyst will give the exact requirement. What is the uh, what is the each field uh, will tell you about. But here in this uh, example file, I will tell you what exactly it means. So in the normal uh, delimited file, if you use the delimited file, it will take the complete record as a one string, uh, one column value and similarly the second record is complete as one another uh, column value in the other record. So the complete uh, file will contain only the one column in the case of delimited. But it is not the case in this uh, in, if you are seeing it from the business side perspective. So uh, from the business side perspective, it should be like uh, more than four columns. So it is not possible to take uh, another type of uh, files uh, like another type of components also like uh, xml components or uh, json components but uh -huh, in such type of uh, cases what we are doing is suppose if the file is not having any such type of tags or any delimiters so that means if it is just a plain file without any delimiters <coughs> we need to identify depending upon the positions so in such type of cases we need to use this t file input position component so what it means is the first three characters are nothing but just to identify the record type. So the next character is, so you can mention the first three characters as a header and then next character as record number and then next four characters as the ID, ID of that particular person and then next 10 characters are account number and then the remaining characters are related to the name of the particular person. So this is what the exact uh, like uh, require exact uh, view from the business perspective. So in the same way, we need to we need to store it in our uh, job uh, like we need to process it in our uh, job as well. So if that is the case, what we are going to do is I am opening T file input positional positional component and don't be confused with the T file input MS positional and positional. If it is just a, if every record is having the same header and following the same schema type without any delimiters, you can use TFL input positional. And if it is having multiple uh, multiple schema types, you need to go for the TFL input MS positional. So, <coughs> what I am doing here is I am redirecting to the path where we have that particular positional file, talent videos positional file dot txt and row separator slash in here. And you need to specify the policy pattern. So the pattern is the first three characters is one thing, and everything what you need to specify in the pattern will depends upon the character length. Here the first three characters one two three is the header value, and next single character is record number, and next four characters are uh, uh, ID of the particular person, and next ten characters are 
string uh, like uh, account number and the remaining characters are the particular person name the same i am going to do here 3 as a header 1 as a record number 4 as a id value 10 as a account number and remaining values as uh, the string uh, like the name and uh, i am clicking here let's skip empty rows and you need to specify here pattern units or symbols so you don't need to change anything here we don't have any header but you need to specify here what is the schema schema total we have five columns here one is header as a string and then record number as an integer and the next value as id as an integer and account number you can mention it as string and then name so i am clicking ok here and make sure that this pattern should be in the double quotes not in the single quotes or without any single quotes yes it should it should be present in inside double quotes and just make it make sure that limit as minus one because uh, minus one is nothing but uh, we need to include all the records in the file and just in case i am clicking t log row here here I am, I am doing this video just to illustrate how the T file input position will be configured and how we are going to use this video, sorry, how we are going to use uh, such type of file components. I am connecting it with T map. So normally in the project perspective what I will tell you what it means. Yeah, sync columns. I am running now. So this is how it is coming like this. So if you consider the video now, so the HED will contains the first three and next one is record number and next three are next four are ID value and remaining ten are account number and then uh, name of the person. The same we are getting here as well. So now instead of having in, in a simple file. Uh, we have we are we have identified what is the individual type number if someone asked me ask us to insert depending upon the account number to the database then uh, using this file using this direct file we can't able to do that but after splitting this into this type of format we can able to identify account number easily similarly id value as well so uh, normally uh, uh, after uh, using this this type of component these values will get stored inside the t hash output component and using the t hash input that type uh, that component will be used multiple uh, like multiple uh, sub jobs inside the same job so that is the main advantage of t file input uh, positional and t file input ms positional and uh, maybe these two videos are very important in the case of uh, in, in the case of files which contains all the record types without any tip, uh, all the records without any delimiters or records without any delimiters as well as uh, with multiple schema types so if you have multiple schema types you are gonna use t file input ms positional if you have the same schema type but without any delimiter you are gonna use a t file input positional components so these two components are one of the advanced components in talent studio so i thought uh, this video will be helpful for you to understand the differences between like how to deal with such type of file uh, from the business clients in the project. So I hope this video will help you. Thank you for watching guys.